Hey guys, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. This week we're going to talk about prayer. Now once again, we've gone back to the round pin. We're looking at Christianity 101. We've covered some pretty basic principles about Christianity. And once again, this week we're talking about prayer. Now prayer has been around as long as man's been around. Why? Because prayer is just nothing more than talking to God, having fellowship with God our Father. Now prayer, you'll see it in all kinds of religions, but I just want wonder if they really expect for their gods to hear them. Now you and I know, and we're going to look at scripture here in a minute, that we can have confidence that he hears our, our prayers. Amen. There's two kinds of prayers. There's the prayer that's answered and the prayer that isn't. If you look in Luke chapter 18 verse 9 through 14, this is illustrated when the Pharisee prayed in a in, with his religious pride, expecting God to answer him because he thought he was worthy. Uh, he informed God of his goodness, that he was better than others. He said, I'm glad I'm not like the publican. He boasted of his good works and he said, I fast and I give. This is the kind of prayer that does not reach God. Why? Because it's self-righteous prayer. Amen. Now if you look at the publican in this same passage, we see that his prayer, he came to God in great humility. If you want to get God God's attention, be humble. Why? Because the Bible says that God hates the proud but gives grace or favor to the humble. So the publican came in humility, conscious of his unworthiness, confessing himself a sinner and begging for mercy. Once again, you come to God like that, and, and you know, I, I can tell you it's not so much begging God to do something, but recognizing that I'm really unworthy to be here. But you know, the Bible tells us to come boldly before his throne of grace. Well, how do we come boldly? Well, because we know the word and we come to honor and glorify God. That's what prayer really is all about. So we come there humbly knowing that it's only through Jesus Christ who gives us that access to the Father, but we come boldly because we know the word, we know our rights as, as Christians, we know what God's will is for our lives, and so we uh, pray based upon that. We know God's will. Amen? So what is prayer? Let's look at Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. It says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receive. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who if his son asks for bread will not give him a stone or if he asks for a fish will he give him a serpent if you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him and so we're supposed to ask him he tells us uh, you receive not because you ask not so that's in James um, so prayer is just asking and receiving. It's talking to God. It's making our requests known to God. Our Lord instructs us to ask, seek, and to knock. These, uh, because these three words cover the whole spectrum of prayer. Ask, seek, and knock. Prayer is asking and receiving. This is the first one. When you know the will of God regarding a need, whether it's material or spiritual, you can ask and receive. Now, I don't know about you, but why would you ask if you didn't expect to receive something? So you do need to be bold. Your word says we know his promises. Uh, for instance, he says he knows our needs before we ask. He supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Scripture says that my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. So, again, because we know his word, we can pray his will. Um, 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 says this, uh, Now this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked for from him. Amen. The second one is pr prayer is seeking and finding. So first it's asking and receiving. Next it's seeking and finding. Uh, when you do not know the will of God regarding a need, whether it be material or spiritual, then you are to seek his will in prayer and concerning this need until you find it. Seeking, whenever you go to look for a treasure, you seek it, you hunt for it diligently. And the same thing, when we first come to God and we ask, we also need to 
realize if we don't get an answer, then we seek his will. We desire to know what he has to say. Um, now this prayer is for knowledge of the unrevealed will of God. And you'll find that in Colossians 3 verse 1 in Jeremiah 29 verse 12 and 13. Where it says that um, if you ask or when, when you uh, seek him, you will find him. And then finally, prayer is knocking and opening. So first we have prayer is asking and receiving. Prayer is seeking and finding. And prayer is knocking and opening. When you know the will of God and yet you find a closed door. You are to knock and keep on knocking and God opens the door. Amen. Be persistent about it. Don't give up just because you pray one day and it, uh, your prayers aren't answered. This is tenacious prayer. The Bible says the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. What's an effective fervent prayer? That's one where you're tenacious. You keep after it. Look up Matthew 17 verse 14 through 21 and again it'll talk about the persistent woman who kept coming to the the, um, the the judge. Anyway, so this is prayer. This is what we're talking about this week. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.